Here we go, people. Welcome to my humble abode. Messed up as it is. <laughs> um, yesterday, I did a video on making a dolphin pipe. Sweet looking thing, ain't it? Looks like a shark took a chunk out, but that's where the bowl goes. Uh, and the other one is a sea turtle pipe. Gives you a little bit of an idea. I also realized that um, I forgot one thing when I did that is I didn't fire polish right here. So I'm going to do it real quick. And as you can see, I'm warming it in slowly and warming it out slowly. There you go. Right there. It was a little bit of a jagged lip, but no longer. Okay. Put that back. Now, today, of all days, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do another turtle pipe. And you're going to say, why am I going to do another turtle pipe? Well, when I did that turtle pipe yesterday, I um, kind of realized that it's not the way I usually do my turtle pipe. So I'm going to... you got to realize that when you're making something, that there are 15,000 ways to do it, and you've got to figure your way of making it work for you. So, just... Okay, I'm centering that for me. <laughs> okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in a couple of sections. One, I'm going to make the actual bowl. And then the next part, I'm going to do the stem. But the stem and the bowl come out of the same thing. But what's going to happen is that I'm going to make the round of the bowl. And, and this is going to be about this much for the turtle. And then the stem is going to come off the back end. But in that that much for the turtle um, the body of the turtle is going to go this way and flare out and then the back part I'll add to it's kind of hard to explain easy to, just better to show you than then to complain about it later okay uh, seems like I've gotten these wonky ones to play with today right right okay I'm gonna heat that up and get that into the round I was playing with it a little while ago. There we go. And all you're doing is making it more centered so you can work with it as a punte for me. Okay? Now, blow hose. Important. If you don't have one, I feel like there's, they're worth getting. And yes, you can learn to do it without it. But I prefer blow hose. Now, I'm going to warm this in. This is like, you know, how do you boil a frog or cook a frog? you got to ease him in. If you throw him into hot water, he's going to jump out. And the same idea with this. It's just, this is cold tubing. And uh, if you could warm it up beforehand, that's great. But for me, this works. Okay. There we go. I'm going to try to get a little hotter. Very hot. For those people that think you got to get this bigger, badder, meaner torch, give me a national with a number two tip on it and I can make some stuff happen. Here we go. I'm going to add a cold weld here, or a weld at the moment. Now I'm going to make this into the turtle shell itself, which will be nice and big. More ceremonial than actual use, but it'll work. That'll be about the size of the body or the shell. Now I'm slowly but surely making a Maria, pushing it out, and, and 
lightly puffing not even really but just puffing it out a little bit as I go getting there still working it and I'm now uh, pressing in the bot the top some more By the way, this tubing that I'm using is some silver film tubing that I made earlier. And you know me, uh, you've seen the you've seen that one. That was the very first one I did on this page on this uh, YouTube page or channel. Is I made silver film uh, encasing tubing. Okay, let's widen that some more. Now, here's a trick that you can do if you just happen to have one, and I do, oops, wrong, is if you want to make it more round at the top, crush it in a marble mold, spin it a little bit. There you go. Yes, you got some ripples and rivets and divots, but you heat it and pull it and it'll make itself well. Fire polish itself out. There we go. Are we happy with that? I am. Are we having fun yet? Yes. Now here's the other part of it. I've already done that. And now we're going to blow a hole here on the side. So, well, actually, I'm going to narrow this down first. This is going to be the bottom of the bowl. Or the bottom of the turtle, too, at the same time. Top of the bowl. This is one of my stealth mode type deals. Now, when you make Sherlock's, this is the way I do it, actually. is very similar to the way I'm going to make the bowl for this turtle. Now I've also blown that hole out but not quite gotten there yet. You'll see what I'm doing. I'm now narrowing that down some more. Now I'll blow it out. Seal that up. Here we go. There we go. That'll do for now. I polish that little divot for now. Now I'm gonna seal where I put them together really well. That's gonna be part of the body itself. I wanna make it look pretty. Not pretty ugly. out a little bit and now letting it sink in a little bit. There we go. Just the way I like it. Now I'm going to pull this out about the distance, just a little bit beyond what I want for the stem. Bring it in.
little bit longer. And there we go. Seems like I need to smooth out some of where I brought the, the two together. Now, let's pick a color, blue, green, red, yellow, let's make it work, let's see, let's do, let's make it bright and mean, we're going to do a orange fins and tail. Yeah, it's orange. But the didymiums on the orange and the reds look very similar. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to be creating the neck or the head for this, this turtle. And I'm going to use what I call... It's sort of like a clay coil potting but not quite. Uh, I sort of fold and pull method onto itself until I get the amount that I want out of it and it's making it nice and hollow as I go. Okay. Nice and hollow. And that's a nice size head there. a nice size round head for the turtle. Maybe elongate it just slightly because I can. Now just because you see the jagged edge doesn't mean that it's not a smooth weld. It's just that it's the way that I folded the glass on there, it sort of looked, you know, when you see the glare going, you can sort of see brighter orange jagged edge, but it's not. Believe me. Okay. Fins. Just like always on my sea turtles. And for those that don't know me, I'm also Lou Libby at uh, Lou Libby on Face. Uh, uh, yeah. Lou Libby on. YouTube, you type in Lou Libby and glass blowing and you'll get me. There is a person that's called Libby Lou. Don't get that confused. That's a lady. But Lou Libby is who I am. And I've got like 400 plus, well, a lot of videos anyway. And, uh, you know, I got 400 plus subscribers at the moment. So, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. But I've been enjoying making these videos and giving back to the community in a lot of ways. It hasn't been as profitable as I'd like, but that's neither here nor there. It is, um, it is defining who I am, which is glass blower. Okay. I made one of these a little bit bigger than the other, so i got to go back and hold another layer or two in. The way I do that is like so. Oops, that's okay. That's the thing I like about this um, type of torch is you can really get the angles just the way you want them. There we go. I'm going to leave that. Fin number two. I'm going to give this green, uh, jade green eyes. While I'm thinking about it, why not, right? There's one. There's the other. 
it's fun learning to put those eyes on and getting across from each other uh, not one forward one back but generally in the same location that uh, it will look like a set of eyes now I'm going to go ahead and put the other two back fins on here questions so far well again if you have any questions or comments or click like subscribe ask a question ask a comment whatever I will see what I can do about getting to you and um, I'm usually pretty good and pretty quick within the day answering any comments or questions um, just be patient with me sometimes we all have moments right here we go Again, fold and pull. Actually, it's pull and fold, but I, I like to call it fold and pull. Sounds better. There's one back fin. Now we're going to uh, put the other one on. Tweezers, good thing to have around, always. Helps you manipulate the glass. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could do it with my fingers, but we're not that stupid. Close, but not, not quite. Now, here comes the fun part. Time for the bowl. Actually, I'm not. I'm not going to do that quite yet. I want to do some defining like I did on the, the bowl yesterday on the sea turtle. But I'm also rounding that in a little bit. Doing good. Now. Let's make a nice thin strand to begin with. And go from there. Are we having fun? Yes, I am. Here we go. I'm going to do about two of these so they'll have enough to do what I need to do. Nice long thin strand and this stringer is going to be uh, define the outer tortoise shell. Okay? There's one. Tap that off. Of course it's not going to come off easy. By the time I get back to that, that should be cool enough that I can play with it. Yeah, right. Okay. Here we go, same idea. When you're pulling stringers like this, you're heating it up where it's not really cool. I mean, where it's, start, where it's cool, where it's glowing is where you're pulling from. But what you're doing is you're sort of adding as you go. Heating up the cooler spots and uh, pulling off at the, the melted points. It's a feeding method. You got to learn to feed the glass so it flows so that you can make these stringers. I know the first stringers you probably did look like thick, thin, thick, thin, thick, thick, thin. And you got to realize you just got to learn to flow. Yep, that's cool enough to work with now. Now that's a bright orange. I've had that setting there for just that short amount of time, but I'm going to make sure that I ease it back into the flame. That's the most important thing, okay guys? Be nice to the flame and be nice to the glass. Okay? Here we go. We're gonna define the outside perimeter of the shell. Layer it in quite nicely. Go. 
let that melt in. You're not just sticking it on there, you're trying to make it part of the glass. Anything you put on there, you're not just sticking it on, you're fusing it together. you got to fuse them together, otherwise that's exactly where it's going to break, where they're not fused and just stuck together. Okay. Now let's do some more pattering going on. We'll do about two or three of them in the middle and I'm probably confusing my tortoise shells. But we're going to just do this. A couple of them here in the middle. I'll look this over some other time and get it to where I, I know for sure. But and the other one is now cool enough that I can use, which I'm going to. Again, making sure I fuse all of that together, become part of the piece of glass. Here we go. Just add some line patterns here. When you get the glass to flow like you want it, the world is your oyster. When you're fighting the glass, the glass will always win. When we're, you're working with the glass, letting it flow, letting the, 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 you know, just letting those molecules of the glass do what it's supposed to do, stand back, man, the world is going to explode if you got it right. Okay, I know I make it look easy. I've been doing it since 1982. And I love glass. There's no doubt about it, I love glass. In one way, I'm sort of glad that I went and started doing this pipe making channel because I still like to do the other parts, but I like to, uh, I want to try to keep it a little on the separate side. I don't know why, but I do. Okay, now, we got all of that nice and warmed in. I'm going to heat and blow it a little bit, puff it in and puff it out just slightly, just for a little bit, to make sure it's all nice and fused in. Hold that right there for just a second. Warm it all up. Might even stretch this out just slightly. Make sure it's all flowing. If you know where you're going, it's all flowing. That's a good statement. Ain't it? Ain't it. Another reason why I did the, the bowl like I did, it has better texture, better strength. Anyway, for the bubble, for the, for the shell itself, when I do it like this, I have no idea, but it does. So I was just not to question, ask the question why, but just to work with it. Sometimes it talks to you subconsciously or whatever. Yeah, this is doing sweet. I like it. Now, if you want to, somewhere along the lines, buy one of these things, talk to me. How much you want to spend, how big you want it to be, and so on and so forth. 
So we'll get there. Next step, bowl and bowl push. Mine is just a graphite rod with a nice concave. It doesn't have a, a little button in the middle. Got a nice swirl pattern going on too for the underbelly of the shell. I'm not making it very big hole. Just making sure it stays blowable. Now here we go. I'm gonna heat up all in that area and press and blow. There you go. And sometimes when you're doing that, the hole sometimes will go off a little bit to one side or whatever. What you do is you heat up around the outside edge and nudge it in the direction you want it to go in and it'll go. Oops, that's not good. Everything all at once. I guess I gotta go back to square one here. Come on. That's the hard part about working with these types of torches. They, they are a little bit titchy at times. Now, I will get back. I'm actually going to stop this for a little bit and get back and do the back end here after just a little while, okay? So until then, be patient with me, okay? Thank you. Okay, I forgot. I need to blow the hole on this side first. We're going to do that right now. Uh, fight rod when you need one. Okay. What you're doing is you're going to... What happened there was the glass was hot enough to reignite the flame, which is a good thing. but I actually blew it out when I blew the hole. Okay, turns out, got it going, and before I finished, I the last thing you saw me working on was right here at the mouthpiece, right here the, where I blew it out. Uh, turns out that I ran out of space on the card. So here we go again. We're going to see what we can do from here. To do here okay and all I was going to do from this point on was uh, go ahead and well these might help get some diadimiums on but all I'm going to do at this point is just pull it off right about here for the stem of the, the back of the tobacco pipe and call it quits on this one Sound good? There it goes. Getting up to temp. Let's, let's add some more flame going on. Oh, there. there. Oh, darn. A little bit too much. All right, Graceful. Uh, when you least expect it. There we go. Oops, that was the wrong idea. Right down in here is where I need it. There we go. And we're almost there. Just sort of pull that out. And I'm going to blow that. Seal that back up and I'll make something out of that. 
Lots of things to do with that. Lots of things. Silver fume tubing. Love it. Okay, uh, tweezers. Gonna even this out a little bit. Sort of using these tweezers as a little bit of a jacks to, to open it up in the spot that I need it opened. There we go. Sweet. And we have, I know, another sea turtle, but I, I like this one. And I do like the other one, don't get me wrong there. Each one has its own little unique character. And I will be doing frogs, elephant ones, um, you name it. I can make it into a, even a scuba diver or a mermaid. Well, mermaid's going to be fun. Uh, and if you have some suggestions on what you would like to see made into a tobacco pipe, ask and you might receive. And with that, let me um, get a close-up of that. Ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille? Okay. Get the mess out of the way. There you go. As always, Carpe Vitro.